Hey man, this is Dan with Good Guys to Great Men. Thanks again for watching today. Going for some kind of 80s glam rock. I don't know, Bee Gees look right now. Waiting for the hairdressers to open up, for the barbers to open up so I can go and have a haircut. I know you're all in the same situation. Unless you've got shaved head, you're in the same situation as me. So you can laugh, but I can laugh back. Anyway, today I wanted to talk uh, about, first and foremost, Steve and I are, are running a call this weekend, a live tribe, free brotherhood call, one o'clock mountain time on Sunday. Go to the website if you want more information about that, goodguystogreatmen.com. We are having a guest on with us for that call called Elliot Katz. He's the author of a book called Being the Strong Man a Woman Wants, and we will be talking to him about what's included in that book. I wanted to talk a little bit about about that today just just one particular element really and that one particular element is is making decisions really is making decisions because we get a lot of conflicting messages as men nowadays you know you have to ask permission and yet you have to also be de be decisive and and lead her in intimacy and and you also have to be considerate and be yourself and yet you also have to understand what she needs and not be controlling and yet you need to know what you want and all these different conflicting messages you know but really being decisive is is the thing that everybody appreciates you appreciate it she appreciates it having a plan there's never a woman who doesn't appreciate a man having a plan you know so the thing that is missing a lot for us i think is that we we kind of got to this point of being afraid, being afraid of making decisions that are wrong, you know, and whether that comes from school and upbringing and stuff when we got validation from people who said, you've done well, you've achieved this, and, and then we didn't feel good when we didn't get that validation or we got things wrong, or you know, so you learn along the way that I need to try and always get things right. And in relationships, actually, it's much more about who you are so the decisions that you make, the plans that you have, say a lot. How you behave says a lot about who you are. And so that's much more about your character. And we're always talking about this stuff, right? What are your standards? What are, you, what are your values? What do you believe in? What do you believe in so much that you're prepared to make a stand for it? Especially in an argument, say, for example, somebody, your partner wants to do a certain thing, maybe get a new dog or whatever, I don't know and they're badgering you and you said no this is the reason why and, and they badger and badger and keep on and push and push and eventually you say okay and you give in and so we are afraid of making the wrong decision we are afraid of making any decision in a lot of a lot of cases because we get pushback right and we get pushback we get people complaining and saying that we're doing things wrong and that they, we don't consider them and <coughs> And this is why it's so important to know who you are and why you make decisions and what it means for you, you know, what you stand for. Because in the long term, oftentimes those decisions that you make are things that the other person will appreciate. So it's like when we're talking about boundaries, for example, being being kind sometimes means you say the thing the other person doesn't want to hear and I know I've said this to you before but it's so important to get this to really understand this you have to understand that in the long term when you make a decision that is right for you when you make a decision that is based on what you believe in and what's important for you and you have clearly have reasons then that is what creates the kind of thing that you want to have in the future you know and other people, when they, when they really truly do care about you and want to be in a relationship with you, will respect that. And he even says that in the book, you know, he even says, one of the examples is, I keep a picture in my mind of my partner looking respectfully and appreciatively at me for having held on to this vision or view of the future. I don't know if you can hear me, but... The rain is coming so I'm gonna finish up here and just say yeah instead of being afraid to make decisions how would it be if you were just confident if you trusted yourself if you knew why you were making the decision that you're making why you were standing your ground on a certain thing 
right? And that's what we help guys get clear on. And and I would love for you to come along this weekend and join in with the with the free call and bring some examples, like bring some questions that you have and let's coach you around that and let's talk to Elliot around that. And it's going to be one of those conversations where it is access to older men, to mentors, to fathers, to you know, to adult figures who are able to pass down some of this information and this wisdom that we haven't been getting for years. That's exactly what we do with our community. That's exactly why I'm always encouraging you to come and get involved in the community. There are men with huge amounts of experience and, and consideration and, and support for you. And it is the best place to learn from other people who understand, because they've been through it, how to get to where you want to get to in your life and relationships. Okay, that's all I've got for you today, guys. Take care. See you. Bye.